You can change the speed of a clip either on the desktop or on the timeline. To change the speed of a floating clip, mark in and out points, go to the More menu and select AV Stretch to display a pop-up window with motion control options. The default is Time, where you can use the grey duration box to set the final length of the rendered clip. Clicking and holding on Time will reveal a scrolling menu, which gives you further options. Speed is used to set the speed the clip plays at, regardless of the duration. Multiple is used to select by how many times the stretch clip is longer than the original. If you make a change in one of these three options, you'll find it's been reflected in the others. For example, a 3 second clip at 50% speed will be 6 seconds long. Profile provides keyframeable speed control, for example allowing you to freeze in the middle of a segment and then to speed up again. This is not a menu I would suggest you use unless you're already familiar with the keyframe graph in MLT effects, as the scales and options are difficult to read here. If you do want to experiment, I'd recommend making sure that Use All is selected, as this will limit the graph to the number of keyframes available. Full details of the options are available in the manuals. You will notice an audio option at the bottom of the menu, which applies the effect to the audio if present. This would disappear if the speed is set below 50% or above 200% because of the limitations of the audio plugin that's being used. The other options are fairly self-explanatory and rarely changed, but consult the manuals if anything is unclear. Once you've selected the options you require, press Render to create the stretched material. When completed, Save or Edit can be used to transfer the clip either to the clips bin, to the desktop by clicking and dragging on the Save box, or to the timeline by clicking Edit. On the timeline you also have an AV stretch box, which can be used in the same way as a floating clip, but it also has a secondary function, sometimes known as fit to fill. If you mark a section on your timeline using in and out points, and then drag the top left corner of a floating clip onto the AV stretch box, the clip will auto stretch to the length marked up. When rendered, press edit to place on the timeline. Repeat can be used to freeze a shot on both the desktop and the timeline. This is one of the few times you don't mark in or out points. Instead, place the cursor on the frame you want to repeat, select Repeat from the timeline or from the More menu, select the duration you require in seconds using the green numerical box, and then select F1 for a freeze on field 1, F2 for a freeze on field 2, both of which would prevent flickering on interlaced material, or frame if your footage is progressive. A new floating clip will be created with the freeze, which can then be dropped straight onto the timeline if required.